<laughs> is it rolling? Yeah. And the reason I got into guitar was simply just because I really loved music and I, my parents got me um, a toy guitar and I'd listen to music for hours and I'd pull out the guitar and I'd like try to figure it out even though I had no music theory knowledge or anything at the time. So my parents, they signed me up for guitar lessons. I was uh, 10 years old at the time. Pat really inspired me um, as a person and as a musician. Like I'd always kind of had the idea that playing a musical instrument was really just a hobby and for him it was his whole life. He introduced me to a lot of new types of music and new genres I never even heard of before, you know. Genres that I might not have previously liked because people around me didn't like them. And uh, Pat introduced me to James and David when I was uh, 15. So I'd been taking lessons from him for about five years then. Uh, the reason he introduced me to them was because there's this uh, annual, like festival, not festival, this annual competition um, called Launchpad that was held at a high school. And it would be like high school garage bands would compete to then go on and play like a bigger show and that kind of stuff. And um, they needed another guitarist for the upcoming Launchpad show. So Pat uh, got me in contact with them because James was actually a student at the time. The band was called The Sanctorium. We uh, went by that name for a couple of years, I believe, actually, until we found out that there was another band with a similar name actually pretty nearby to us. And that name was, we were, was developed when we were very young anyway, so we wanted something more fresh. So then we went with uh, Dystopian Echo. So Pat is really what got me into Dystopian Echo and what got me involved with uh, playing music live and playing in a band and having interest and having music as a career. So after 10 years of taking lessons from Pat, he decided to move to Appleton to be with his uh, fiance and her kids. So he handed over Lake Mills music lessons to me and I now teach beginner level guitar in Lake Mills. Still talk to Pat all the time. Uh, we, we call each other. I don't normally like calling people, but Pat's pretty old fashioned, so that's fine with me. I really feel grateful for Pat. He's done so much for me and I think about him every day.